YouTube. Um, so it's been a really long time <laughs> since I last made a video, so this is a bit weird for me. Um, well, my upload schedule's been really weird this last month because I've been having trouble like focusing on making content for YouTube recently. Um, but also this is like the first time I've recorded audio for a while because my last video didn't have audio in, so it's definitely been over a month now since I've recorded audio. So yeah. Um, so in this video I'm finally getting around to building Draenor Manor um, from RuneScape in The Sims 4. This is something I've wanted to do for a while but I wanted to wait until I could get the vampire pack and so there was recently a sale on. I think like the last sale I noticed game packs were 25% off but um, in this one they were actually 50% off which was awesome so I got it for like £8.99 which is pretty good. So I really wanted to build this lot in Forgotten Hollow since it has the perfect aesthetic for it but unfortunately all the lots in Forgotten Hollow are a bit on the small side none of them are big enough for Drain or Manor really because I really needed like a 50 by 50 lot or bigger potentially but um, I don't have any pack that has a 64 by 64 lot but all of the lots in Forgotten Hollow are pretty small so what I ended up doing was looking into potential ways to increase the size of lots um, and I actually did find, I found a guide by someone um, on how to increase the lots, the, the size of lots using The Sims 4 Studio. Um, the actual guide seemed to have been deleted and someone wrote out some very basic instructions on Reddit but I couldn't get like I couldn't figure out from their instructions how to do it so I searched around a bunch I actually gave up at one point and was like okay I'll just I'll just make it in um one of the other neighborhoods on one of the big one of the big lots um like I think I, I think I was going to do it in Willow Creek at one point but then like there's only two options in Willow Creek and one of them isn't brilliant and the other one is just terrible one of them is like the park you can use that if you bulldoze the lot the park in willow creek um but it's surrounded by like these pink f pink trees and it's just it's not the best look um for drain or manor because it's like the actual manor is in this kind of spooky area and it's surrounded by dead trees and stuff so obviously forgotten hollow works well so what i did is um i decided to use stroud mansion because that's the biggest lot. What I ended up doing was increase increasing the size in The Sims 4 Studio and that part was actually pretty easy, like changing the size of the lot. Um, that was pretty easy when I found some instructions on how to do it. Um, I might actually make a video on that at some point because um, it took a while to find the instructions. They were on some forum and as I say I, I nearly gave up like a couple of times. <laughs> because I couldn't, like, I, I, it took me a while to find, uh, like, a set of detailed instructions on how to do this. It's easy when you know what you're doing, but it's it's not something, like, that you can really figure out yourself particularly easily, I wouldn't say. So I think that would be a useful video to do. The prob There were a few problems with it, though, and so I won't, I don't think I'm going to make that video unless I can figure out, um, how to overcome the problems and I'm, I'm going to basically go into that now Cause like um so firstly if you enter the lot in build mode after you change its size and then exit it the thumbnail will change and um if you replace the world the world size again later the game will crash because it needs the size you set set it to before saving to work um I don't know why that is, but yeah, basically, you need to keep that size forever while playing the game, um, or it won't work again, at, at least if you've loaded the lot at any point and that's saved. Um, it will crash if you do that. So because of that, I think that if you decide to do this, it's best to have like a specific neighbourhood um, and where you're okay having that size forever, because if you ever want to change the lot size again, you'll have problems basically so you have to like commit to the size um at least as far as i know that i had that problem so i assume that will come off for other people um i don't know if there's a way around that another problem i found was um i couldn't move the neighborhood objects because when you increase the size of the lot it sort of it moves out into the world and of course there's a lot of world objects 
all around like in Forgotten Hollow there's tombstones like a large tree um, you can't move any of them normally if you place debug and live edit objects onto your lot you can move them but that is not the case when you increase the size of the lot all those world objects are just there and they're like there every time you load up the game as well which is quite annoying um initially as well i noticed i was sort of troubleshooting this basically as i went along i noticed that the grid was invisible in some areas um I sort of dismissed that because I noticed I could still build even though I couldn't see the grid but actually what that meant was the flooring didn't show up so basically I got part way through building it and you'll see it if you watch the the whole of the speed build I got part way through building it and then realized that I couldn't put flooring on certain tiles and um because there was no like the the lot wasn't all on one level and using the build tools doesn't fix that problem. So what I ended up having to do was go back to The Sims 4 Studio and then edit the placement of the lot. So I just moved it up. I moved up the z-axis, I think. So it was like slightly elevated and that basically fixed that problem. So if you do increase the size of a lot and then you notice that problem, um, that's why basically you just need to move the lot a little bit and you need to like... It's a little bit annoying, like you have to sort of experiment a bit with the numbers until you get a size that works. If you do something too drastic, um, there will basically be a giant hole in the middle of the world where the lot used to be, which happened to me the first time. The first set of numbers I typed in were like way off that was this giant hole, which was pretty funny, but um, I don't have pictures or footage of that actually, unfortunately. So to get rid of the world objects, I actually ended up trying a bunch of things because it wasn't obvious at first how to do it. Um, you you can't use Twisted Mexi's mod. Um, there's a like a, a mod which allows you to destroy objects off lot. It doesn't work with these world objects. Um, I enabled free build and that allowed me to pick them up but every time I tried to delete the objects <laughs> it would come up with some error and it would just go back to its original position. Um, in the end the only thing that worked was essentially bulldozing the lot um, that was already there and then I think replacing it with another lot like I put another lot down and then I think I think actually bulldozing it on its own should be enough, but the first time I did it I was just messing around. But yeah, basically if you bulldoze the lot and then you exit out of the lot and then go back into the lot, the objects should all be gone on the grid area. Um, the problem is that every time you reload the game, all of the world objects will be back and you have to do that every single time, which is why unless I can figure out a way to avoid that problem, I, I don't think I'll bother making a tutorial video because it is annoying. Like, it was fine for the purposes of building this video, like, building this lot, um, because I just wanted, you know, a cool kind of backdrop for the, for the build. But definitely, definitely if I was playing, I would not use, <laughs> I would not be using that lot because I do not want to do that every single time. Um, just, just having to do that every time, because it, it's obviously saved in like the actual game memory and um, so it just keeps coming back it's not like it doesn't remember that it's been removed because the bulldozing obviously doesn't remove it it doesn't save it in the way that it does with stuff you put in the game the normal way it's saved in like the the world memory and I'm sure there's a way of removing all those objects um, in the Sims 4 studio but I haven't looked into it yet. I think that will be a lot more difficult because stuff isn't really named in intuitive ways. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to stop talking about that now. I think some of the footage I've used at the beginning of this video is a bit um, all over the place because I didn't actually record what I was doing when I was doing it. I just made a note of the different things. Um, it would have made a lot more sense to record it all, but I only recorded some parts and so since I did the audio later, there was like a discrepancy with like how long the footage lasted, so I, I just ended up starting the speed build halfway through that explanation, and um, yeah, 
So this video is actually quite a, quite long, um, like all my videos. But um, actually, this one isn't as long as the other the other ones in this series. But it's still pretty long. Um, so I'm thinking about like in future videos, I might have to like not upload the entire speed build because I feel like hour long videos are just too much most of the time. Um, and I mean, I've I've got it down. I mean, it's better. It's an improvement on my other videos, but it's still really long. So yeah, I'm, I think like in the future, I might just have to chop chop videos up into like highlights or something, like the main parts of the build, and then talk about that. Um, I would like to do like stop motion videos because I've seen some people do them and they just look really cool and they're also a lot shorter and I just feel like that sort of fits with the attention span of you know people who are watching YouTube videos but um yeah the thing is with that though like I did look up somebody actually posted a tutorial on how to make those videos and it does seem quite like it does seem like something that would take a long time to do um, <laughs> with my current upload schedule, it's not it's not been brilliant this month as it is. Um, but yeah, I I do think it seems a little bit like it would be kind of a headache to do. Like you have to take images um, of of every step of like I think you build it and then you undo. From what I remember, you build it and then you undo each step. And then you take a screenshot, and then you sort of stitch it all together in your video editor, and that does seem like really drawn out. But I mean, the re the results speak for themselves, though. Those videos do look really cool, but it definitely so much easier to do like speed build videos. All you do is like record the whole thing and then speed it up. Although with some of my recent videos, I have done tons of editing as well because just to get the size, the length of the video down, I didn't with this one. Um, because it was too long. <laughs> I just, I couldn't be bothered to go through it all and edit out um, even more parts because, yeah. Um, I actually don't know why this video has taken me so long though, um, compared to the other stuff. I mean, I have done some bits, some more bits that I didn't do with my other stuff. Um, I don't want to rebuild. I don't want to, like, re-upload my other videos, but, um, what I, just, what I decided to do at the beginning of this video was actually do a comparison so you can see what it looks like in RuneScape and what it looks like in The Sims, which I think is a lot better because then you can sort of see a side-by-side -side thing. But yeah, part of the reason I didn't do that in the previous videos was um, there's no easy way of removing the interface on RuneScape without, like... There's no, like, equivalent of The Sims 4 where you press the tab key and then you can film. You have to just get rid of your entire interface. And then I would have had to set it all back up again. <laughs> Basically, I'm too lazy for that. Another thing is, like, I didn't want my RuneScape username to show up in the video. But, of course, I can just edit that out. So, that wasn't a huge issue. But, yeah, that was just a bunch of stuff I was thinking about. And so, I, I didn't end up doing that in the previous videos. But I, I did do it in this one because I thought, like... It would just be better to show both of them next to each other. Um, although, like, the, the other thing is, um, obviously, if you have two videos showing at the same time, you have to make them smaller, so you can't see as much detail. So that's one drawback. But I, I actually think in full screen, it it looks all right. You can still see quite a bit of both of the, of, like, both of them. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's kind of rambling on here. Um, so yeah, one feature from the vampire pack that I really wanted, which is why I got it, is the cobwebs, because in Draenor Manor there are, like, cobwebs all over the place. And, um, so that was pretty cool. Also, with this lot, I was going to do this with the Falador castle, um, lot, but I didn't. I did end up making a bunch of the NPCs and then moving them in, so you can see them standing around at the, in the intro video, um, you can see all like the NPCs. I got a bunch of ghosts and what I thought, what I was planning on doing was, because um, obviously in Draenor Manor there are a bunch of chairs and they're kind of like possessed and they wander around and follow you around. So what I was going to do was get the ghosts in Sims 4 and put them, like make them possess the chairs so the chairs would be floating. But 
the chairs. And this is just, like, really annoying. Um, I can't remember if they could possess chairs in The Sims 3, but they can't in The Sims 4. Presumably because they can... S it must be have something to do with the sitting animations, maybe? I don't know. They can possess almost everything. They can't possess lights, which is unfortunate, because I did think about making them possess some of the, like, table candlesticks. Um, but yeah, they can't possess chairs. So I couldn't have floating chairs, so I just had to make the ghosts possess various other objects, which isn't what happens in Draenal Manor, only the chairs move, but I just had to do that because I couldn't, I couldn't get the moving chairs. Um, one really weird thing is, um, while building this in, in RuneScape, I noticed, like, the bed changed. The model for the bed changed halfway through me building it, and it's been like that since then. Like, I've gone back to Draenor a few times since then, and the bed model has just changed. Um, it's very odd. <laughs> when I started building the lot, the, the bed model was basically, like, slashed to pieces and ruined. And then, at a certain point, it switched, and I thought, oh, that's weird. Like, maybe if you hang out, because there's lots of weird ghosts haunted stuff going on in Draenor Manor, I thought maybe, like, some there's some animation that happens occasionally where the uh, bed gets destroyed by a, an evil ghost or something, but it hasn't gone back. Like, I've been back there numerous times, and the bed model just changed to, like, a perfectly formed red bed, um, whereas before it was, like, completely destroyed. Um, so I don't know what's up with that, but... Um, it's kind of convenient though, to be honest, because I wasn't sure how I was going to recreate the destroyed bed anyway, with like the stuff that I have. But, uh, but yeah, it might be. I don't think this is it, but like while I was building it, um, I did notice uh, on the RuneScape wiki that there was going to be a Halloween event that started on the 26th, um, and basically I noticed in the screenshot obviously they talked about this on Twitch or something I don't keep up with that but I noticed this I stumbled on this because I was looking up something else and I saw a screenshot and was like it was at the outside of Draenor Manor and it was like the outside has been completely updated um that update has been released now and basically the inside of the manor still looks the same, so it didn't actually end up affecting that anyway, which was good, because I was like, damn, now I have, I have to really hurry this along, because otherwise, um, otherwise, like, the, the manor might be updated, but they didn't end up updating the interior, but to be honest, I was finished with it by then anyway, so that didn't end up being a problem, but I don't know if the bed changing was related to that, I assume not, because they didn't update anything else. And it's just kind of a random change. I, I did Google it, and I just couldn't find anything about the bed changing. So, I don't think anyone else noticed. And I still don't know <laughs> if that's actually a feature of the game. Um, yeah, so... I'm trying to think of things to talk about this build. Um... Yeah, there are a bunch of, like, wall candles around, so I used the ones from the vampire pack, um, that came with the vampire pack to do that. I think I had some problems, um, where I went back into the game again and I forgot to turn on the move objects cheat, so I lost a bunch of small items, they disappeared, um, I had to put the lot back down and, and I forgot to turn on the move objects cheat, so because of that I think the kitchen... The final kitchen that I have is actually different in the speed build footage from, like, the beginning of the video. And there's probably some other subtle differences too, because I couldn't remember everything that I put down in order to recreate it perfectly. Um, I did think... I was thinking about using the tool mod so that I could have, like, a bunch of hanging spatulas in the kitchen area. But I ultimately ended up just not doing that, and just putting some stuff on some shelves and then using the Maxis knife object. Because the thing about the tool, the tool mod is great. Um, and I was actually using it for a bunch of stuff for my Macinema project. But the thing about the tool mod um, 
is that you can't use it as far as I know anyway you have to um, you have to use it in live mode and I don't like building stuff um, in live mode because then you have to keep giving the sims money because the money becomes a factor and there are a bunch of other annoying things I prefer to like build while the sims aren't in the house and then maybe just add some details later so because of that it does make using it a little bit awkward based on my playstyle so um or non playstyle I guess because I don't like I don't like the using the live mode but yeah um oh so I added a bunch of like little skulls around because there are actually skulls on the shelves and in some of the bookcases in Jane or Manor but basically obviously um all the skulls in The Sims 4 are kind of cute and colourful looking skulls, so they're not exactly the same, but they're still skulls, so I thought it sort of fit, fit in. And um, it looks a lot better with... I downloaded Reshade recently, so I've been using like a bunch of Reshade presets, presets and um, yeah, it's very cool. Um, I think the one I used to film this was Stone Cold. I haven't got it turned on while I was building I had it turned off because it does cause a lot of lag but um the skulls and stuff like that actually looked a lot better with that um reshade pre preset so they look a lot more like just realistic skulls instead of like the colourful um way they look with the default um shading so that was pretty cool uh yeah what else I think I'm doing the hallway, building the hallway at the moment in the video, and um, there's like a piano at the end here, and uh, the actual, I think the actual Drain or Manor piano is sort of like halfway between the two Maxis pianos in terms of style, so that was pretty funny, but I just picked the one that looks slightly more like it in the end. Um, and I added, I'm not sure when I do this, at some point I added like the red ottoman and I, I resized it and moved it so it would be so it would sort of appear like it was a cushion on the on the seat of the on the piano stool um because there's a similar kind of cushion in drain or manor so obviously you can't recolor the seat um it does make me miss the Sims 3 a bit with the creative style tool because there's a lot there were lots of options to recolor stuff there um, there's a lot of pieces of wall that are sort of dilapidated and have like um, boards coming through in RuneScape so to do that I, I kind of just used a debug um, a bunch of like planks of wood from the, from the debug section and um, yeah I just moved that around and then I, I used a bunch of those um, vampire wall decals they came in handy a lot in this build to be honest there's all kinds of stuff that i really wouldn't have been able to do without that pack um it really helps give it a kind of like run down look um because so much of that pack was like sort of based on like a creepy kind of gothic vampire mansion type thing that it, it really works with <laughs> this obviously because it is a creepy gothic mansion in fact there's even a vampire there's, um, but I guess that's kind of spoilers <laughs> if you uh, if you haven't played RuneScape, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I I couldn't get it like the thing is like the walls have to be one tile long and they're all very neat. So I did I had like a half wall and then I just stuck a bunch of planks of wood in it between, and it doesn't look perfect, but it it gets fairly close to what it looks like. Um, I put those decals all over the place, and then I I used those statues because there are a bunch of statues in the in Draenor Manor as well. Um, there's no table long enough to fit. There's a really long dining table in this room, um, so I just basically put like a bunch of smaller tables uh, next to each other to do to, to create that effect. Um, I didn't talk about what I was doing with the exterior of this build at all. The exterior of this isn't brilliant, to be honest. It's definitely... I created it fairly true to the actual RuneScape exterior, so it's not the most 
it's not perfect looking it's very just like a basic brown wood exterior and then there's some pillars around um there are actually candles on the like banisters around the around the staircases in Draenor Manor so I put the candles like I use the move objects sheet to put the candles on top of that area because um well it's like in the in the actual manner um I was going to talk about what I did with the bay windows but <laughs> the video has already moved on I've like forgotten because it's been a while since I recorded this and was building it I've forgotten what happens when um so yeah this is the basement area where the like the the basement crypt kind of thing um I still don't have get to work and I think in that one you have a bunch of like sort of prison holding cell type fencing or something like that I don't have that so I just use like that weird metal um fence debug I'm actually really happy with how this crypt area turned out um in, like when it was finished it it actually looked quite a lot like the basement um not 100 percent but it's pretty good i put like a bunch of candles around and then i used some debug stones um those stones that you can see now i got rid of later i because they were the they were kind of the wrong color and um i just thought the debug ones worked better so I ended up putting them around and like resizing them to different sizes and I put them all along the edges of the um the basement and then I added like candles and the candelabra things um because yeah it'd be kind of useful to <laughs> have a reference during this part but I didn't want to do it the whole way through the video um but yeah, I mean you can see a comparison for most of these rooms if you go if you go to the intro of this video. Um yeah, I think I don't think <laughs> I didn't build these in like order. I just kind of moved from one room to the other because I I would remember something in another room that I'd forgotten about. Um I can't remember what I was doing there now, but I obviously forgot something in the kitchen. Um so yeah i put i put down those skeletons they're actually custom content and i was trying to avoid using custom content for this build but at the time i was building this i didn't have anything that was remotely skeletal looking to put in those corners and there are a bunch of skeletons since then i have actually bought um jungle adventures and for some reason i keep wanting to say journey to salvadora or whatever the name of I've forgotten the name of the um, the world that's in Jungle Adventures. I, it's, it's something like Salvadora. I'm just going to look it up quickly. Yeah, so I think it's Sel Selva Dorada. Um, I kept wanting to say Journey to Selva Dorada, um, but <laughs> that's not that's not the pack. It's the pack is called Jungle Adventures. I keep getting it mixed up with Journey to Batu for some reason. Um, but yeah, I bought that because that was on sale as well, and that was 50% off more recently. I don't know why. They, there was the first sale, which was obviously for Halloween, because they had a bunch of Halloween packs that were super cheap. And then that sale ended, and then there was another sale with just a few packs on sale, which was interesting. So I ended up buying that one because it does have a lot of really gorgeous looking objects in that I'd wanted for a while. I'd been like looking at that pack. There's a sink in it that just looks really great. But one of the other things that came with it was actually a couple of skeletons. So what I'm going to do, I think, is upload two versions of this to the gallery. One with those skeletons, and <laughs> which nobody will download because it's custom content. And then one with the skeletons from the other pack. Um, I do like... <sighs> the thing is, like, there's so many cool items in these packs but I kind of feel for people because like for a long while I only had the base game so everything I downloaded would have to be in the base game and I would see all these cool lots and I wouldn't be able to download them and it is a pain if you don't have all the packs um, this this doesn't have like tons of packs used because I don't have tons of packs I only have a few packs but it's still kind of like I had to think about that like is it worth putting the skeletons down 
just because like well I think you can still you can still sometimes download lots even if you don't have all the packs and it will be okay like if it's only a small item I don't think it will completely mess mess it up but I do know that I have um, downloaded like lots before and then had them just be crazy like the walls would just be gone and the flooring would be gone like on a, an entire floor would be lost sometimes because you don't have the right packs um so yeah I should actually talk about what I did here I used like still don't have split levels and you cannot get split levels in the basement there's a way to do it on the ground floor but you can't do it in the basement so basically what I ended up doing was get getting this like debug object platform <laughs> this is like a really hacky way of doing this um it you can see it like clips through the back wall of the basement completely but I just I'm just like you just have to ignore that and um it's not functional because there's no collision for it and that staircase that's attached doesn't work either so this is basically just um, an aesthetic visual thing because there is a platform in the actual mansion basement um, and so I really wanted to recreate that so I just ended up using the move objects cheat to get everything on the so it appeared like it was on top of the platform and then put the platform there but yeah you can t you can totally walk through that platform so it's not it's not brilliant but it looks good so that's the main thing um, and then I put the coffin on top which as I say is another thing I um, really needed from the vampire pack there's like so many useful objects for this build in that one pack it's amazing really um, the wall decorations are also from that pack uh, although I could have I could have used like a curtain or something an um, annoying thing is I do actually have a bunch of items that are custom content that fit better um, but I kind of committed to the not using custom content thing with the previous two builds in this series so I kind of want to continue doing that um, but yeah it is like I always feel like it's kind of cheating somehow <laughs> to use custom content for these kinds of builds um but but there's so much great custom content and some of it's really really fit so it's kind of hard um yeah so as you can see i put all the tables together um to create like one long table uh luckily there wasn't too much zed fighting on like when you put the tables together you know the surface sometimes sort of flickers because because of that so that wasn't a problem with those parts luckily um i'm totally running out of things to say <laughs> i'm pretty tired as well right now but i really i'm doing this now because i really want to get this video up for halloween because the initial plan was to make multiple halloween themed videos this month and that didn't end up happening because i ended up putting a lot more work into the first episode of my Miss cinema which took longer than I expected and then after I uploaded that um, this video also took longer than I had planned so um, and I wasn't like working on it as solidly I don't think compared to the other videos I did so it did end up taking a bit longer um, yeah so I wanted like rounded windows and on in the interior the windows look pretty good but from the outside they don't really fit in with the pattern properly um, but there were no other windows I had that were really rounded and looked right so I ended up compromising and just doing that but they do look a little bit odd on the outside um, I used I do this a lot I think I did this in my other build as well the Falador Castle one I used like those um, kitchen barrel things um, and then put them on top of each other and like resize them so they look like were larger barrels and I turned them around as well so you can't see the um, the, the spigot part that's on the other side of the barrel um, so yeah this is like the sort of kitchen pantry area there's 
it's not a kitchen really is it it's like a I don't know what the, I don't know how to describe this room actually there's like a little pantry area but there's also a bunch of cupboards and there's a bunch of gardening stuff too there's like a spade on the floor and it there's a door at the back that goes out to the garden um yeah so to recreate this area I did did try to recreate the the pantry as well I put like I've forgotten exactly what I did now so I'll probably wait for that part of the video which is probably coming soon um yeah I used the same wallpaper um all around the house as well because I think it's actually the same in all of Jane or Manor it's like the same one style of wallpaper so I just settled on that one there was none that looked there weren't any that looked exactly like in Jane or Manor but it gets pretty close so and I think that one's from the vampire pack too there's no spade um no metal looking spade so I actually just I bought seasons as well so I used the snow plow from seasons instead of a spade because there wasn't one um yeah I used like medium half walls or not not medium really I used some size of half wall and then to create this and then I sort of slotted in the kitchen nook thing um if, at first I was gonna like put shelves in there but then I actually realized it would just look better doing that because there aren't really any dishes or plates or cups and stuff you can add to the shelves that won't start that won't go off basically because they're actually in-game items and what I noticed with my last build is that if you add bowls and if you add any of that stuff after a couple of sim hours they'll just um count as dirty dishes and you which need to be cleaned which is no good so i ended up just putting that slotting that in instead because they're they don't count as dirty dishes they're just um that's just a decorative object so then i added a bunch of you know um wood planks around the edge and there as well i resized them so that they would be pretty skinny um yeah, so I did that, and then what I wanted to do was, I forget the names of all the building stuff, it's not great for these kind of videos, I wanted to put one of those things on both sides, um, but I couldn't, so I just ended up, it wouldn't fit, and like, it kept snapping to the wrong part of the grid, so I ended up just putting it on one side in the end. Uh, yeah, then I put down like a bunch of other little bits and pieces down here. That object with the oranges, the crates with the oranges actually fit in really well there in the corner. Um, this is like the little room with the skeleton in Draenor Manor. I actually made the skeleton too. I tried to give him a creepy walk and I don't know why, but he wasn't, it wasn't working. He wouldn't actually walk with the creepy vampire walk when I used it, um, so that was annoying, he just ended up doing a normal walk, so I think in the video I just ended up having him standing there for that reason. There's like a little s snake or something on the table in Draenor Manor, um, there's nothing really in debug, in the debug objects that is similar to that, so I think I just put down like a, a vampire bat squid, or I forget what it is, but it was some kind of squid fish thing from the vampire expansion. Um, so, yeah, it's just, this video is moving too quickly, <laughs> so it's like, I'm talking about stuff, but it's not even, um, in the video at the moment. Oh god, I did speed this up a lot, because it works better with some parts than others. It's a bit too quick moving, I think, for some parts of this video, but, um, I wanted it to be like, this video to be as short as possible, so I really did speed it up a lot. Um, yeah, so... So I also ended up... I had, a, I had a, like a ladder here at some point, because there's a ladder going up to the final floor. I don't know if it's technically a floor, it's more like an attic, and that's where like Professor Odenstein is. Um, or Odenstein, I don't know how you say it. I feel like it's supposed to be Odenstein because it's like odd, but I don't know. Um, 
yeah, I messed around with these. I think in the end I just decided not to put any mats there because I didn't like. Yeah, um, I wanted to put those curtains. There's some curtains that come with the vampire expansion. I keep saying expansion; it's a game pack. There's some there's some curtains that came that look really great, um, and they're really thin with the kind of general aesthetic. Um, better than any of the other curtains. But the problem with them was they kept... They're too tall for the size of walls that I had, and at that point I didn't want to change the wall size. It was the smallest size, but it sort of fit, because the actual walls in Draenor Manor look kind of small. So <laughs> I ended up, like, strategically... Because there was a roof there anyway, so I kind of sort of moved it around so that it would cover the curtains that were clipping up through the roof. Um, and I put a bunch more of those curtains on the second floor as well, I think, but since there was a roof above them, that sort of solved that problem. Um, yeah, there's a lot of... a bunch of hallways and stuff here, so that's slightly repetitive, um, this particular area. There's the... what I think is, like, a library that's very, um broken down. There's like a wall that's broken in the middle and a bunch of broken furniture. Um, I think it's the library. That's That door leads into the library, or it will do, when that gets built. Um, and there's like a bunch of ghosts in the library. And uh, I'm pretty happy with how that turned out as well. But uh, I added in like this is way later, but when I was finished I added in some, um, some, like, animated mice as well, um, so you can see them sort of scuttling around in the video at the beginning. Um, I'm gonna remove those when I upload the lot. Well, for the, for the non-custom content version, I need to remember to remove them because they're actually, it's an invisible object that is quite hard to find because it's invisible and I know the general area it's in but I need to remember to sell it and hopefully I'll be able to find it because um, I have to remove them otherwise it's going to flag it as custom content um, because it is so. Uh, one feature of Draenor Manor which is really cool is the paintings have eyes that move as you move like they follow you around. Um, unfortunately that's not a thing in The Sims 4, at least as far as I know, there's no paintings that do that, which is um, unfortunate. But so I just put I just put down like a bunch of random paintings, like whichever one fit. Um, yeah, I had some problems with like the way the walls were formulated, so I actually had to go back and edit a bunch of stuff because sometimes um, some of the pillars were like appearing on both sides of the wall when I only wanted them to show up on one side, which they do if you build things correctly, but yeah, I, my rooms were like kind of weird I think, especially on the ground floor because there's that really large room and then you've got like two small walls but they don't go all the way across and I don't know. Um, yeah, I used this mat, this particular mat a lot and I resized it so that it would be larger like it is in, in the um, manor house so yeah um that came in very useful actually uh what else yeah one thing is like these the roof you can't you can't get the roofs to be like sort of fit exactly so that if you zoom in here you can actually see the they're kind of like triangular in a way, but the the bay windows are in a different shape, and that kind of bothers me. Even though like you don't notice too much, but unless you get close to it, but it bothers me that you can't do that. Although while I was doing the roof on this building, I did actually notice that there are ways to get them. I don't even, I don't know if this is new or not, and um, I don't think it is. But I only noticed for the first time that you can actually get the the corners of the roof to sort of join up but it wasn't like sometimes it was working and sometimes it wasn't they have to be the same height I think 
and then you can sort of get them to sort of uh, connect around the building. Um, but I only noticed that later on and I didn't want to redo the roofs on the ground floor I don't think so I didn't end up redoing them. Actually, I'm not sure it would have, it would have even worked with those ones with the way I did it, but it worked on the top floor, so that was pretty good. I actually think there's going to be like a really large chunk. <laughs> I spent a really long time trying to get the roof to sort of look the way I wanted it to. Um, I didn't, I know I never really was happy. Um, the exterior of this building is like my least favourite, I think. Um, the trees sort of help a bit because they cover a bunch of space and they fit the aesthetic and they look exactly like they do in the manor so that's fine but no I'm not I'm really not happy with like the outside of this one but to be fair I mean it doesn't look that amazing in the game either so it's a little that part was a little hard to do it's not like um some of the more modern obviously because it's very old as well it hasn't been updated at any point recently um, but I think the interior to this worked out pretty well, and there's a bunch of stuff like a bunch of um, objects that I managed to use um, as well in the in the like attic on the top floor where Professor Odin sign is. He has a bunch of like scientific equipment and stuff, and I used the weather station from Seasons and the cupcake making machine and just kind of place them around to look like um, machines and it actually worked really well like they they work quite well as a kind of makeshift um, laboratory equipment so despite that not being their purpose um, but yeah I don't know Professor Odenstein could be like doing messed up experiments on uh, cupcakes I guess <laughs> like evil cupcakes um i cannot i can't it's been too long since i actually did the drain or mana quests or quests like there's there's at least one quest i'm not sure how many quests there are so i don't actually remember the details properly i know there's a vampire count and there's something involving a chicken and that's like <laughs> i only have these very vague memories um yeah so i don't remember exactly what his role is in it also with some kind of flashing flashing thing and I've forgotten what it is that's in Draenor Manor on the top floor and I, I just used the Realm of Magic portal for that. Um, I should probably talk about this when it's actually happening in the video but to be fair it always ends up out of sync anyway so I'm just talking about it now instead I guess. Um, yeah so this is actually the library area. Um, this took, I guess, a moderately, kind of a long time to do. I ended up putting, like, planks of wood around the place and then used some of the, like, um, debug furniture, like, the the wood furniture stuff. Um, I put that around some places because there are a bunch of broken items of furniture in... Um, in the library and that's kind of difficult to recreate. I have a bunch of custom content furniture that's broken actually like broken chairs and stuff but I didn't want to use those as mentioned so I just like put some of the like workbench items around because they look kind of broken. <laughs> They're kind of like rough looking so it's sort of that and then I use those planks of woods again to make um, the wall looked like it was sort of half fallen to pieces. Um, there was some other stuff that I couldn't really recreate, like the the window area is pretty different looking. And um, and then uh, yeah, I added um, broken yeah like planks of wood and it's just it's not rubble but <laughs> like the yeah, just just lots of different pieces of broken wood. I've forgotten what all the, the objects are called in the debug um, section, but yeah. There's, um... Oh, and I think this might be a lot later, because I think I might have gone back to do this after I started working on another part of the build, but 
I also added like a bunch of books on the floor because in the actual um, library a few of the bookcases are kind of like broken so they have like planks of wood inside of them and stuff like that um, I couldn't get that couldn't get it to look exactly like that but oh no I'm putting down the books now in the video okay so yeah I added a bunch of books around um, some of them I found from the debug objects and some just the accessory books I'm actually like there's loads of cool looking fancy books which is cool because that really fit in well um, like in the in the realm of magic and vampire vampire packs they have a bunch of sort of mystical looking books I definitely think I should have like <laughs> uploaded a shorter video um, this is like an hour long and I have not talked in a YouTube video for a while so thinking of things to say is like actually kind of difficult um, without like I don't want too many pauses so I have to think like quickly as well uh what else I don't even remember what room this is oh wait it's the small bedroom right yeah yeah there's like a single bed in here and um, I think I swapped the beds around a few times and then there was one rug that I knew I wanted to use so I actually wanted to use the rug in other rooms but it I never could find a place for it it didn't quite fit anywhere else it's like one of the rugs that came with the vampire pack um yeah I did like that little chair in the corner and there's actually a couple of cuckoo clocks I think in Draenor Manor but I didn't have one of those, um, I actually don't even know, I don't think there is one in any Sims 4 pack, so I didn't have, like, anything that I could use for that, so I just put down, like, a generic wall clock. Um, yeah, doing more roofing and stuff, I think, at the moment. And <laughs> I've completely... Okay, right, so then this is the master bedroom. Um, and then there's a bathroom on the other side. It took me a while to sort of do the bathroom because there were some towels and um, I guess I'll talk more about that in a minute. Yeah, so I added more of those curtains around. Um, again, there was the roof that kind of covered them and then like enlarged like the rug and uh, yeah, I... Um, I ended up putting up like four bookcases on that wall because just to fill in the space there there are a bunch of bookcases in Draenor Manor but like I think because initially like there is no bookcase that looks exactly like the bookcases in Draenor Manor those ones are very close but the ones in Draenor are actually like bigger they're like wider so I ended up using less of them on the ground floor, but then here I just used more of them, so placing the cobwebs was actually kind of annoying at times because it was hard to like get them to rotate and and place them in exactly the spots I wanted them to go in. Another thing I realised is you can't increase the size of the cobwebs, which is interesting and slightly, I mean I didn't, they're fine as that size so it's not a huge deal. But, um, yeah, it's just, I'm not sure why you can't resize them. There's few objects you can't resize. I don't think you can, you can't resize mirrors. I mean, you can, but <laughs> the glass won't resize. It's similar to the window problem, um, because I guess they're separate somehow. Um, you can, but yeah, you can't, you can't resize cobwebs at all. It just doesn't work. I mean, the gr it's weird actually because the 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 space they take up, like their grid size, will increase, but the actual cobweb won't. It will always stay the same size. So, um, I'm sure there's a reason for that. I just can't think of what it is right now. Like design-wise, I think it's it's obviously like a tech, just a cobweb texture. So, I don't know. Um, yeah, so that bath actually, I think that's like a work a bath you can make in the workbench, and that's that was just brilliant because that looks 
almost, I like, I think it looked very close to the way the actual Bath and Jane or Manor looked, and none of the other baths that came with any packs were as close to that, so that was just perfect. Yeah, I spent a long time on this towel, <laughs> towel area, trying to get it to look right. Um, in the end, I think I gave up with the whole idea of, like, having, um, I wanted, like, wood panel parts where the, the bath railing, where the towel, um, the metal parts of the towel rack were, but in the end I just gave up on that because it wasn't fitting exactly right. So yeah, the the Snowy Escape expansion um, was released recently, obviously the trailer. Um, not that the game hasn't come out yet, but the trailer was released recently, and yeah, I watched that and that was pretty cool. I actually... Mm, I don't want to talk about that though, because at some point I'm probably going to make a video on it. I think anyway. It's kind of, I'm a, I'm a bit late now, like, it's been a little while since the trailer was released, but I did want to make a video about it, so that could potentially be my next video. I obviously want to get back to working on my cinema as well, um, the second part of that, and finish it, because I have a bad habit of not finishing story-based things that I start. So, but I'm, I am determined to, like, finish that. Um, it'll just be, like, a matter of when, really. Because, yeah, there's, like, a, I've got, like, a bunch of different things going on. But after this, I don't know. I don't know how long this RuneScape series is going to be. Gonna Because be, I really wanted to build this. But I don't know about other stuff. Because there's also, like, the question of stuff that I actually can build in The Sims 4. Because some stuff is really cool but would just be a bit too difficult or not really feasible. Like the wizard tower, I don't know if I can really pull that off well in The Sims 4 at the moment. Um, I'd have to look into it, but I just, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff and I don't, that I don't think, um, I don't think it would come out very well because there's like this magical sort of portal beam thing that you teleport down and I can't think of anything in The Sims 4 that's really equivalent to that that I could use. Mm. I mean I suppose I could put a bunch of Realm of Magic archers but that's not really the same. Yeah so this is the part where I actually think I'm doing, this is the part where I do the roof. This part's really long. I probably should have edited some of this because this, yeah. There's like a whole bit with the roof. Um, I've actually, oh man, I forgot to, I was editing the size of all of the videos as well and this bit's got like layer boxing on it, but um, I was just going to have to stay that way now because it's part of like the thing. Yeah, anyway, that's, that's irrelevant. Um, yeah, so... I think this part of the video goes on a really long time. I'm going to need to think of something else to talk about, to be honest, because this is fairly self-explanatory. <laughs> it's just roof. Um, but yeah, so the... the um, Right, so... Another thing I kind of wanted to build from RuneScape was like Port Sarum, because I think that's really cool. But the kind of architecture there is... I think... I think it would be a lot better if I had get together before doing that. So I don't know about that entirely. Also, I might do one of the farms. Like I thought about doing Mana Farm, and I think with the Seasons expansion, I could probably. I don't. I think like there's a bunch of stuff in the Seasons expansion that would be useful for um, building a farm. But yeah, I'm not sure at the moment. I'd have to think about it a bit more like potentially there is like a whole bunch of stuff I could build and I suppose like I don't know um at the moment there's nothing that I'm that enthusiastic about building so I might take a break from it um it kind of bothers me the idea that I'd only have like three builds though because there's like so much stuff that I could potentially build but I might leave it a little while because I like want to do other stuff as well and I think 
Um, I'm definitely going to do like some kind of fall themed build at some point as well and uh, have a few other ideas for builds um, as well that I don't think I'm going to talk about right now because I need to think a bit more but potential ideas um, but yeah so I definitely want to do some fall themed builds and because I've got the seasons expansion now and there's like so many cute items in that expansion pack actually um, and there's all the pumpkins and stuff as well so there's a lot of potential uses um, yeah so I mean also the objects that came with jungle adventure are like really cool as well like a bunch of that stuff I just um because I was looking through it while I was just finishing off um filming stuff for this video and uh putting some stuff down and so I, I kind of almost wanted to just like go straight into building with it because it's like it's just all kinds of awesome stuff but um <laughs> you have to hold off for a little while until I edit and finish this video I've actually got I've got a bunch of other speed build footage as well that I haven't edited um some stuff I built for um the first episode of my Cinema series I filmed building one of the lots for that and uh, at some point I need to edit that into a footage. I might release that after this actually. Um, at least that way <laughs> if whatever I work on next takes forever it'll give me like something to upload in between because at the moment I have like a lot of, I've been having a bunch of like long gaps on this channel um, where I haven't uploaded anything. So I think I'll save that for that um, and then yeah yeah I'm not going to say what like, I'm not going to commit to like what I'm uploading next because I don't know right now um, it'll just it'll just happen when it, when it happens um, I do like I don't want to leave it too long before I get up the next episode of um my Miss Cinema series though because it's like um yeah I don't want to leave too long a gap and it also takes I think it'll take quite a while to do as well because the, the first part took about three weeks to film and it just the, the, the thing is right I had like a basic plot in mind when I started and um it just ended up getting longer and longer and more bo more bits got added into the storyline so the the entire of the first part of the cinema isn't even like um I should talk about this more in the speed build or from the cinema I guess but I kind of run out of stuff to talk about anyway it's like it's a roof you get the idea but yeah the the um the first part of my cinema was actually like um just story that had nothing to do with my initial idea for the cinema really um, it was just basically like build up to the actual thing so <laughs> so that was like and it's like 16 16 17 18 I don't remember how long it was it's it's about 20 minutes though maybe it's like a little bit short of 20 minutes I think all of that is like basically an intro um, but yeah I need to think I have the basic idea of the story of the next one but I do need to like sort of think about how I'm going to do certain things and um, iron out some details for that so yeah it's um oh yeah so I'm actually I'm building the the attic now um and this is like Professor Odenstein sort of little lab area and I use like the cupcake station as I mentioned and the <laughs> yeah so there's actually a tinder box in the corner and I just ended up putting down a fire lighter there um yeah I think I ended up removing some bits and then put down some counters and then I moved it back again um I'm not sure entirely I think I I think like this skips a bit because this is probably 
could be slightly out of order, but um, I put down like the Realm of Magic portal because there's like some kind of weird flashing. It's not a portal though, but there's some kind of flashing or circular thing, and that was like the closest object that I could get to it in The Sims 4, so I put that down. Um, but yeah, so, what was I saying before though, because I kind of cut myself off, <laughs> I was talking about the cinema thing, yeah, so, that took, the first part took three weeks to do, and I don't, I can't anticipate how long the next part is, because I haven't got an exact idea of everything I'm going to be doing, I do know some things are going to be pretty hard, it's hard to get like the animations, um, for certain things there's like there's a lot of animations lacking in the sims 4 and i really thought that while i was while i was recording some parts of the first part i thought this would be so much easier to do in the sims 3 because there's a much wider range of animations in the sims 3 um in particular for children because obviously the first part of my cinema had a bunch of kids playing and stuff and there's so many more interactions that like it really, it really made me aware of how little I'd already thought about this while playing The Sims 4, but it really highlighted how few interactions there are between Sims. Like most of the most of the social interactions in The Sims 4 are like um, very separated. Like Sims don't dance together closely. Um, they can't, like, there are, there aren't many play interactions. Actually, I don't think there are any. I don't think the play thing is even there in The Sims 4. I'm not sure. But yeah, the, there aren't a lot of interactions that sim children can do with each other. They can't play tag. That was, that was a really cool feature in The Sims 2. Can't remember if tag was in The Sims 3. Don't think it was, actually, that one, but I really miss that because I had been playing The Sims 2 before I went back to The Sims 4 more recently, and, um, yeah, there's just, you know, you, you have the tickle interaction that's not there, um, there were a bunch of, like, little things that kids could do, like punch you, punch me, red hands, just a bunch of, like, kid games and stuff, so I had to, like, download custom animations for some of that stuff, um, and... And th there's a there's not like a ton of custom animations. There is a lot more poses than there are animations. And I do not particularly like animating, and I'm not very good at it. I have done it before, not for The Sims, for my degree actually. Um, I didn't really want to get into. I did do. I did actually end up m m doing a bunch of like. Um, stuff in the sims 4 studio from in the cinema but i really didn't want to do custom animations so i ended up just i downloaded a bunch and then i also used a bunch that are already in the game and uh the pose player mod obviously um and like there isn't there weren't too many to choose from so i just ended up like um basically using poses <laughs> and taking screenshots of the poses and then just having the screenshots sort of flow into each other and so yeah that whole part was just very difficult to do and it would have been so much easier if there were just more kid inter kid social interactions um anyway yeah so back to this build um there is like a cabbage patch outside drain on manor so i put like Luckily, there are, like, lettuces and fields of lettuces and stuff um, in the debug options, so I put them down. There's no pile of sand, but there is a sand terrain brush, so I just did that and then put a fence around it. And then put, like, a bunch of dead trees down. Um, this is actually coming to the end. I decided not to put the gallows at the back um, of the lot, because basically by that point... Um, I kind of just wanted to finish the build, actually, but I also think, like, that I wouldn't have been able to recreate that area particularly well, so I just decided not to. Um, 
but everything else is mostly the same. There are all the dead trees, there's the fountain in the other side, um, and then I added like a, this bunch of terrain paint, like the pathway and stuff. And then this gate at the front, um, which is sort of close. And then this basement is um, the completely wrong size. There basically wasn't enough room for the actual basement because the lot size wasn't big enough to have it extend out far enough. So in the end, I just made it look completely different um, because there's a lot of stuff that I couldn't recreate, like levers and stuff. There's like some kind of little puzzle thing going on in that second basement area. So I just put some pillars down and a bunch of crates and stuff and uh, kind of just called it a day on that because... Yeah, I was going to use torches, but then I was like, no, I can't keep using custom content. So I just went back to the vampire lights in the end. And this video is actually coming to an end, so I'm going to have to say bye quickly now, because I don't want to extend it past the speed build, if I can help it. So yeah, thank you for watching. Um, you can download this on the gallery, um, if you want. And yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video.